Hi everybody, Paul Richards here, and in this video in our microstreaming.io tutorial video series, we're talking about setting up your layout, your live streaming layout. Um, we talked a little bit about this in our initial series, now we're going to dig even deeper into how to create really cool overlays and different broadcast layouts that look professional uh, that are really going to give you good results. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I am in our virtual set, which is definitely part of the layout. So uh, let's just jump right in. We've got some really cool stuff to talk about. Um, before we get into, oops, wanted to pick this one here. Before we get into uh, the live streaming tips, which is what I'm really excited about. So we talked about knowing your, this is the part two of the series, um, knowing your computer, knowing your graphics card. Now we're talking about building your channel and your layout. So the standard layout um, for, for broadcasting is, you know, your talent is in the middle. It's front and center, the person that's talking, right? Um, then you've got your lower third, which is nice to have an animated lower third if at all possible. Uh, here's an animation, an animated lower third. Uh, here's another one. So there's a couple different ways to do it. This one here is actually a video um, that is actually produced in Adobe After Effects and I have an alpha channel meaning an alpha channel is basically like a PNG where it's like see-through at the top. Um, this one here is an animated um, layout, that an uh, animated lower third that comes with vMix. And the reason why these are actually better in the long run, because they're actually extremely high performance. They're not uh, heavy uh, files. They're just very minimal, not even a megabyte to put that together. And it's all programming. This one's actually a couple gigabytes. Um, because it actually is a video file with an alpha, it's an AVI file. So, uh, you know, depending on your CPU usage, you know, these can look a lot prettier. You can do more with them. Uh, you can animate them, make them look really cool. But, um, you know, these ones are going to be a lot less CPU usage and they're much easier to just change on the fly. So I could just change this now, change to something else. And it's just done. So for micro streaming, one of the most important things is streamlining the workflow. We might not want to touch Adobe After Effects to change our titles. So we just do it right in the software and it's actually even more effective. Um, also, you know, custom branded intro videos. So I've got an in I can have uh, whatever you really want. Uh, I've got behind me here, I've got a, our YouTube channel for a reason. I'm going to be showing that off, but you can put anything you want there. And then a customized virtual set is obviously... Uh, a, a great thing to do because you build that once and you can use it as many times as you want. We talked about this in the first series, but it bears repeating. Hook, line, and sinker. It's very important to follow this tried and true process for sales, marketing, and video creation. Uh, everyone's doing this. You deliver your hook, then you get into the actual um, you know, meat and potatoes of your video and then you deliver your sinker. So your sinker. I'm not going to go into that too much, but I am going to show off a video opener that we just did. It's nice to switch up those video openers because you can do whatever you want with this technology. And I'm going to show a really cool one uh, that we, we did a little while ago, uh, actually last week on our last video. So here's our YouTube channel here. So we've got our YouTube channel and um, right, uh, right here we have last week's uh, channel and of course you're always trying to build your channel uh, but here's the intro video there so you can see that uh, we decided to do uh, we had like an overlay of snow um, we have uh, a city background uh, for Philadelphia uh, the city where we're from and we just did uh, that's our, our live stream video opener so you can switch it up you can do a lot of different things um, you know you could have bars like we had black bars at the top and bottom got our CNN style clock there and then we just switched it up and did a little uh, a little bit more of a local show because we're actually from Downingtown so that's just uh, one idea um, of, of stuff you can do um, and you know it doesn't have to be completely advanced here's here's an ex example of a really basic one where we we're live streaming a band and um, we just have a really basic uh, logo at the top and then a little lower third at the bottom so it doesn't have to be crazy uh, you can do anything. It's very, very easy to do this stuff. So we just wanted to introduce you to the idea. Um, really quickly, I will share my screen. As you can see uh, at the bottom here, uh, we've got different uh, video overlays and different things that you can add and change. 
Um, so it's a great way to, uh, to use that. On the left-hand side, you're seeing the preview. On the right-hand side, you're seeing the, uh, what's going out and being recorded or live streamed. Um, so it's, it's very easy to do a lot of the stuff. We have an ebook on it. Um, so hopefully this has been informative for you guys. Um, always trying to create great videos to bring everyone up to speed uh, on what can be done with today's latest and greatest technology. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you feel like this was informative for you, you can subscribe over here. Uh, we've got all these great uh, playlists, and then below we have free virtual sets. See you in the next video, guys. Next video is going to be a fun one.